Hey, it's Pete's Dude, man. We got a lot to explore. Actually, I wanted to check first if you had something new to say. No? New messages? Maybe? Yes? No? No. Exploring the galaxy time. Actually, the first thing that we're probably going to do is take care of that, uh, uh, of that base, that Cerberus base that uh, Hackett asked us to do. It's over here. Locate secret artifact. Oh, no, 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 no. That's for later. Silent of your fuel reactors. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. We're gonna do a lot of galaxy exploration first though. Silent Nebula, that's actually where the uh, Elcor are too. I just looked that up really quick. Um, so let me explore around the other way really quick first. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. No, 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 no. There actually might be something at Argos Row. Argos Row, I always remember that in Mass Effect 1. That's the system that had the fake planet distress call, like you go to the planet with your mate go, and then you're like, oh yeah, there's totally a uh, uh, distress here, and then it's actually a geth trap. But I wonder why this place is available. It looks like there's some uh, assets out here. Let's see what we find. I think we've been to this planet before, like in Mass Effect 1, maybe. Man, that's funny how many references they throw into this. It's crazy. What we get? A haptic optics array. Whatever that is, we found it. Now there's probably a fuel deposit somewhere. I don't remember how much fuel I even have left. So let's escape and then see. Faster than light jump successfully. Well, we got a thousand. We'll save it for when we get back then. So let's go to the Gorgon system. Uh, let's see here. What are we gonna find here? Nothing there. Signal confirmed. Ah, uh, there's one. What do we got here? Come on, this is once again. This is it's like all the plants that we've been to before in Mass Effect One. What do we have here? Advanced power relays. Cool. I think they specifically did that. It's like it's all like from areas that you were in before in previous Mass Effect games is where you find, like, all the war assets and everything that you're looking for. We're gonna run out of fuel. Let's see what else we got here in Argos Row. I found something. All right, what's this? Yeah, Pinnacle Station. Actually, if I remember correctly... Isn't Pinnacle Station the location for the second DLC that we actually... That's like the one thing I didn't play on this whole trilogy LP is um, the Pinnacle Station DLC for Mass Effect 1. Simply because it's just extra leveling up and stuff and we didn't... It's still just bonus stuff that I was like, well, I could do all this, but there's basically a better version of it in Mass Effect 3 where it kind of matters more. So why would I bother doing it now was my thought process. On one hand, I feel the exact same way still. On the other hand, I feel like now that's kind of like something missing. Like something big that we didn't do in the Trivic Trilogy LP that's like always going to be missing. It was like, oh yeah, this is a full Mass Effect Trilogy LP except for the guy never did Pinnacle Station stuff. And now I'm going to be like, uh, that's right. I never did Pinnacle Station stuff. Evasion successful. But like, it just seemed useless to me. So that's why I didn't get it in the first place. And what do we got in this planet? Um, come on. And it would have been cheap to buy, too. It wouldn't have been very long. I might as well have done it. So, see, I'm going to get into that mindset. Oh, fossilized Cacliosaur. I'm pretty sure this is the planet before, maybe. I'll have to check back. This is the planet where, like, we found that one fossil. But basically, what this fossil is, it's a fossil of a dinosaur that Krogan used to mount and ride in battle. And there's a Solarian on the Citadel who wants to actually resurrect it and clone it so that the Krogan can be, uh, can mount them again. It's so awesome. All right, let's get some fuel and get out of this system. On to the next one. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. All righty. What do we got? Gemini Sigma, Hades Gamma, Attican Beta. Uh... Yeah, what is this system we can't go to yet? Kelston Rift, Ninmah Cluster. We know there's nothing in the Ninmah Cluster. Hades Nexus. There was definitely some stuff people want at the Hades Nexus. So let's go there.
can't remember what people wanted, but people were talking about something. Um. Signal confirmed. Hysteria. What we got here? My voice sounds funny. It's because I'm laying down now, so it's like bleh. My legs are getting tired. All right, let's see here. What we get? Alliance frigate Hong Kong. Cool. That's awesome. And I think we still have a pretty good amount of fuel, so I'll save that for the return trip. Wow, there's a lot of systems around here. Hoplos. Hoplos. Uh, 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 oh. I bet I could just go here and bam, everything. I found something. What do we got? Copus? What's here? We've got... Oh, the Obelisk of Karza. Yeah, someone did ask for that. Okay, there's the fuel. Let's get the fuel. Okay, let's escape and then get the fuel. That was not an ideal entry point. Uh, let's get it. Let's get in and get out. Come on. Okay, there we go. Next is Pomyat. I wonder how they come up with all these names. I mean, some are obvious patterns. Maybe they all are, and I just don't know the references sometimes. That's probably what it is. I'd still be interested to know the history of all it. I said I really love the way Mass Effect is built up as one big universe. It's just all so well thought out. Um. Alrighty, let's see here. What do we got? Alliance Forget Leip Leipzig. Great. And then there's probably some fuel around here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh my come on, this system's not that big. How long is it gonna take me to find this fuel? Really? You still haven't found it? There it is. Alright, let's get it and go. 100 units, so oh, that's barely anything. Evasion successful. On to Shiol! Just exploring the galaxy and trying to get the things. It doesn't look like there's anything here. I found something. Well, there is something here. One thing. Gel Hinnom? What is here? Boop. Prothean Sphere. I think someone was asking for something like that. Cool. That's it for there. It's a good thing we saved this fuel thing for over here. So we're going to be very short on fuel. Oops. I was trying to be fancy. There we go. Oh, the Reaper Awareness isn't 100% here? I thought it was. All right. Cool. 380 units. That takes care of this system. Uh, Perseus Vale, Far Rail. I don't think either of those have any, like, extra assets. Uh, Sigurd's Cradle. Once again, another system we can't actually go to right there. The High on Threshold. Shrike Abyssal. What's it, Nebula? Is my frontier. Land Space Land. Cluster. All right. We're on to the big stuff here. We're going to go to the Cylian Nebula, which is well the Elkhorn are, and also there's a few other um, extra things we can pick up here, I believe. And then we're going to go into Thessia. This was a very quick galaxy exploration. We're going to get it all done this episode, I think. Okay, that's the fuel reactors that we're supposed to take care of. I'll take care of that in a little bit. That's right, I forgot about that. We have a big mission here. Sort of. It's not a big mission. We have a little mission here. We actually have a mission, though. That's not just like uh, scan something. We'll take care of that later. There we go. My gosh, that is so bright I can barely see it. What do we get? Dr. Jaleese. Who is Dr. Jaleese? Whoever they are, we have them. We have you, Dr. Jaleese. Alright, let's go on to Lower Opi. Wow, there is a lot of war sets here. Holy shit. Wreckage? I found something. What kind of wreckage? Just wreckage? Okay. 300 units of fuel. Is that it? No, there's something around here. Let's take a look at the planets. Uh, 
There we go, it's right here. And I'm not right, right next to a Reaper. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Uh, our Molly Sniper Unit. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Maybe they'll be better than those Asari Commandos. It's just a small team of Asari Commandos, but still. They were just so little in points. Alright, there's something. Probably fuel. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let's explore these planets now. Is this Takuna? No, it's not. I thought it was Takuna. It kind of looks like Takuna. Takuna Matata. What's here? Saris Guard. I think that's more Asari forces, maybe. Cool. Faster than light jump successful. And is this one or sisters or two more sisters? There's two more Simpsons. Because I'm pretty sure one of these is the Elcor system. I think that's Takuna. I remember it being a green planet. I found something. Yep, yeah, that's Takuna and its moon. What's on the moon of Ultan? Let's see here. There we go. Uh, Elcor Flotilla! There they are! We found the Elcor uh, survivors. And on the homeworld itself, we can find another Elcor artifact, I believe. Let's see here. It's such a green planet. Would have loved to have visited it. Code of the Ancients, which somebody wanted. Um, looks like there's still some fuel around here, probably. I just gotta search for. There it is. We'll get it on the round trip back. Evasion successful. There we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Just one more system Request here. Included. Over here, Teolia. Wow, but this system is huge. I hope I don't have fuel to get back. That's a really far away way. Away. Signal confirmed. Well, that was fast. What do you find? Looks like Earth. What is here? Is it the rings of uh whatever? Because we're still looking for those rings. And they're supposed to be in this system, I think. Yep, rings of a loon. Knew it. All right. Oh, wow. There's two more assets here. That means fuel and something else. Or it could be two fuels, I suppose. What do we got? Um, the credits. Okay. That's cool, I guess. And there's the fuel. Let's get it and go. Hopefully it's a good amount. 375, not bad. I think it'll get us back. Faster than light jump successful. Okay, I guess it did fill us up. That was actually a pretty good amount of fuel. Alright. We still have to take care of these fuel reactors now, though. These servers fuel reactors. We'll go ahead and start that up. Let's see here. Sion. I don't remember anything about this mission. I'll probably recognize it once I land. Uh, we're attacking Cerberus here, right? So I guess we'll take Edie and, uh, I don't know. I'll go with Edie and, uh, why don't we take Tali, too? Uh, how about we take Liara? We haven't taken Liara on a mission in a while. There we go. We've taken Tali on a ton of missions recently. Like, all of them. Okay. I should be pretty much all set up. What the? I'm not. Why did it change my loadout again? What is it doing? There we go. Why does it keep doing that? That's going to screw me over sometime. I'm going to forget. And then, like, it'll do things to me that I don't want. Okay. Um, oh, I'm level 58 now. Cool. So, okay, so I get actually multiple points when I level up, huh? I don't know how many points I get when I level up, though, so I can't really plan. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and go with the level 4 stick grenade. Uh, we'll go with the radius. Sounds good. 
Um, oh, I guess I forgot to. I must have pressed the wrong button. I was like, wait, wait, what? Stop! I wasn't done leveling up yet. We'll just, we'll just do it when we land, I guess. Uh, loading, loading, loading. So uh, we got this mission, and then we're gonna go to Thessia. Oh. Oh. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Oh, I thought it was a Cerberus thing. We didn't need to bring media at all then. 